the pulling of that water and the shrinking of the cell wall, just as we say. Now, the, the cell wall and the cytoplasma, which is this center, we, we pull together. Why? Because there is a loss of water from there. That is why we say that plasmolysis is the process whereby there is outward movement or withdrawal of water from the cells of that particular plant. We also have another one which we call hemolysis. Hemolysis. And what is this hemolysis? Hemolysis as another terminology on cell and heat environment. It's another terminology on cell and heat environment. And what is hemolysis? Hemolysis is the process whereby there is excess of water in the cells and it leads to the bursting or the bursting of the what the cell or due to excess of water that has been flowing in of that particular cell. So hemolysis is just like opposite of that of plasmolysis. Why this one is a withdrawal of water? Why plasmolysis hemolysis is water getting into the cells to the extent that it leads to the bursting of cell. Now hemolysis occur as a result of excess of what water in the cell. So that is just but we have the the similarity between hemolysis and the plasmolysis. We have similarity. What are the similarities that we have? Number one Similarity between plasmolysis and hemolysis. One of the diff one of the similarities is this: both of them occur. Both of them occur in living cell. Both of them occur in living cells. Both of them occur in living cells. Number two, at the initial stage, at the initial initial stage, both that is both plasmolysis and hemolysis, both of them expand their cells. Both expand the cells. They cause the expansion of the cells. Number three, both of them can lead, both hemolysis and plasmolysis can lead both plasmolysis and hemolysis can lead to the deaths of the cells involved. So these are the similarity between plasmolysis and hemolysis. Just as we discuss by the definition so far, we say plasmolysis is the withdrawal of water or the outward movement of water from the living cell, therefore causing the cytoplasma and the cell wall to shrink. That is when excess of water is getting out from that of the living cell of a plant. Now why that of hemolysis is when excess water gets into the cells, the red blood cell, to the extent that the red blood cell is being fully charged with water and get burst. That is what we call hemolysis. When you get book, you see more definition. I don't give you cramming, but I give you the real detailed explanation of what is hemolysis and plasmolysis. Now these are these are their similarity, what two of them can do together. Both of them, that is in plasmolysis and hemolysis, occur in living cell. Just like as this plasmolysis occur in plant and this occur in animal 
all of them are the living cell. So that is number one similarity. Number two, at the initial stage, as water enter or there, since there is water in that cell, it can lead to the expansion of the cell, either the cell of the plant or the cell of the animal. That is another similarity. Now, another one, the third one is that both of them, both the plasmolysis and hemolysis, can lead to the death of cells involved, either that of the plant cells or that of the animal cells. So, they, it can lead, two of them can lead to the death of that cell. Now, how does it lead to the death of the cell? When there is excess of movement of water from the cell, it can cause the cell to, it can cause the plant or the cell of that particular plant to do what? To die in terms of plasmolysis. And when you talk about animal, the red blood cell, so when the, there is an inflow of water into the red blood cell, to the extent that the, the red blood cell is fully charged and get burst, so this can lead to the death of the cell. If there is no any uh, maintenance that take place, these are the similarity between them. We can also see the difference between plasmolysis and hemolysis. The difference between plasmolysis and hemolysis. Now, what are the difference between them? As we have difference between plasmolysis and hemolysis. The difference between them you have plasmolysis you have hemolysis. Okay. Now, one of the difference between two of them is that <coughs> Plasmolysis occurs in plants. It occurs in plants. It occurs in plants. Why hemolysis takes place in red blood cell, which is animal? It takes place in red blood cells. This is one of the different. This occur in plants. Why this take place in red blood cell or occur in animal? Now, number two different between two of them is this. Plasmolysis involve it involve involves shrinking shrinking of the cell of the cell. Why hemolysis involve hemolysis involves the bursting, burst or bursting of the cells? This is another different, number two different. The number three different that you are going to see there is that one, plasmolysis involves getting right of water or Withdrawal, withdrawal of water, H2O. Why this involves, why hemolysis involves retaining of water, hemolysis involves retain or retaining of, retaining of water. So these are the these are the different I can give you now between plasmolysis and hemolysis. Now having known the, dif the similarity between plasmolysis and hemolysis and also the difference between two of them, let's quickly check another terminology 
which we call turbidity. Turbidity 